Hi, it's Kernetix here and I'm going to show you today how to install packages in preparation for building Linux from scratch 10.0 uh, with a host system of elementary OS 5.1 so the versions probably won't matter that much a great deal I'm just telling you the versions so you know what I'm using um, but if you're using a new version of elementary OS or you're building or intending to build a new version of Linux from scratch then um, it shouldn't really matter the packages are probably going to be the same um, and if not you'll you'll see from what I do how to install uh, the packages if you do find there are other packages missing so this is um, specifically all about the um, chapter 2.2 .2 in the Linux from scratch book which is all about host system requirements um, I can show you that now just earlier the Linux from scratch website wasn't working it is now so that's good um, let me go there and get the online book um, as I say it's chapter 2.2 .2, host system requirements and this lists all the packages you need to build Linux from scratch and the minimum versions that you need as well and there's a script here that you can run to um, have it automatically check the versions and put out uh, messages depending on whether it's found or not <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is get a terminal up I've already got this script on a partition which I'm going to mount so first thing I'll do is I'll become the root and I'll just make this a little bit bigger make it easier to read so I'll first mount the partition and if I run it uh, you can see there's several things here some commands aren't found and there's an error there with where it says that the um, shell link doesn't point to bash so all we're going to do is just go down through each of these errors and do one at a time and it's probably something I'd recommend you do as well because you may find that installing um, a particular package might pull in one of the other packages that's missing for example installing GCC might pull in make as an example so so just work down the list and pick out each one so the first one's this uh, sim link that's not pointed to bash in the Linux from scratch book it does say that you can uh, go with other shells but um, is a chance that things may not work as you expect so it's certainly something that I would recommend uh, as well to do so I thoroughly endorse that warning so there are various ways of changing the default shell I found the safest way is to actually overwrite the link and make it a permanent change um, obviously if you're using this machine for other things that expects different shells or there are other people using it you want to, might want to bear in mind about um, how you go around this without affecting other stuff you do or other users but we use the ln command for link the s is for sim link uh, a soft link uh, the v is for both and the f is to force the overwriting of the link and we want to create a link from bin bash and we want to call that link bin sh so it's going to create a sim link bin sh and it will point towards the program bin bash and you can see that's done so if I now rerun the script you can see that it's not complaining that there's an error anymore it's, it tells us that bin sh is pointing to bin bash so the next thing we've got missing is the bison command so the way we can install that on elementary OS is apt install bison now you can use a graphical front end to do this but you're going to be building Linux from scratch on the command line you may as well you know, get used to using the command line 
So that's installing. Um, I just pressed enter there when it said, do you want to continue? The Y was capitalized, showing that was the default when you press enter. So that's all I did there. So let's rerun the script again. And yes, let's fix the, fix the Bison issue. And it's also as part of it, it's created this link as well. So that's something else that's important in Linux from scratch and you can see it checks for. The next one is Gork. Uh, it's not been found. You'll notice also the Ork sim link is pointing to more because this will get updated I think when we install Gork. So if we just get the apt install command back and replace Bison with Gork. So that's installing, rerun the script and you can see Gork is now installed and yes indeed the Ork symlink is now pointing to Gork instead of Mork. So we'll go into the next package and it's GCC we want to install. So again it's just GCC is the name of the package and we'll enter yes there to install that. And that's done. So rerun the script to check it's installed OK. And uh, it can be found. And yes, there it is, 7.5. So that's OK. So the next one we need to install is the package G++. So it's the C++ compiler. Again, we can just put the name G++ in. And that will pull in the package and all the binaries. Okay, so let's rerun the script and you can see G++ is installed. So I just look down for the next one and it looks like it can't find make. So that's quite an important one because that runs all the scripts to, um, what well, for most of the packages to uh, run the compiling. So again, we do apt install, the name of the package is make. And rerun the script again and there it is it's installed now so the last thing we've got to install is make info it says the command not found now you can try installing make info but it won't work because uh, make info is an actual binary it's a command and it's part of a package called text info so what we need to type here to get make info is text info so we do apt install text info and that will install that particular program that we need to build Linux from scratch. So that's done. Let's rerun this. Oops, not that one. Rerun the script. And you can see the make info error has not come up now. It says that te it's text info in the version there. So just quickly go down this again and you can see that there's no further errors so this system is now in a fit state to uh, carry on with the book from chapter 2.2 .2, uh, and build Linux from scratch so thank you for watching I hope you found this useful if you enjoyed it please uh, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you want to hear about um, other videos that I'll be doing in the future. Thank you, goodbye.